here's the heavyweight contender Francis Ngannou DC. Prevailing wisdom is that eventually he's going to find his way back into the UFC title fight. Had the first fight against Stipe that didn't go his way. This is as big a power threat as this division really has ever seen. You don't lose. You get an opportunity to learn. Right. And Francis Ngannou learned from the fight with Stipe Miocic at UFC 220. And it was evident when he made his way back to the octagon. Curtis Blades was a guy that could afford the same type of strategy as Stipe Miocic did. But Francis disposed of him in the first round. Cain Velasquez was another guy that could afford that strategy. Francis disposed of him in 28 seconds. He's only getting better because he has not been fighting for very long. significant title in combat sports no argument from me that is man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is 31, Inganu is 33. He weighed in at 250 pounds each. He will have a three inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator and Ganu. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. 
big punch man on the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice stick with the right hand. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he can look like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. Oh! oh. Now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh man, this grounded pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up. And when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis Ngannou. Ngannou gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Israel Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. A oh, little single collar tie there. 20 seconds left. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. The Predator gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. And he switches to South. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Listen, listen. All right, hey, we all take shots, okay? All right, listen, coming out. He's going to come out wild. All right, with that, we now present round two. Israel Adesanya. And the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He blocks the shot. 36 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. And landing with 35% accuracy oh! thus far against oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. But even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just misses with a left hook there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, 
Adesanya gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called to stop in this contest. At four minutes, 14 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout. man on the planet there's the new ufc heavyweight champion you don't get them all right dc but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ i mean he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet